So we're here to solve this phenomenon by Elliot Grant. It's been rotated from the version posted on web. In part, you'll see this has an unusual uh, long rectangular structure. It actually breaks one of our intended style guides, but it was a fairly interesting puzzle. It actually combines phenomena with another style uh, a little bit in an unannounced way, which we always like. Uh, to get started, a, a thing that uh, is common in some phenomena is where the total count of cells will matter a lot when we see a 24, a 20, and a 17 and those together account for 61 cells in a puzzle that is 7 by 15 or 105 cells. There's probably not going to be enough space for these to double, but we can confirm that quickly. Here's a group of 3, 2, 6, 3, 1, 15 total cells, another 3, 2, 6, 3, 1, another 15 cells. These are never going to touch, so that's going to get us to another uh, 91 total. Um, the 5 may or may not double but there's at least five more, and then a one and a one and seven, so 98 total cells are counted at a minimum based on the clues in the grid, and that means that this 24, this 20, this 17, you're gonna have to connect somehow uh, to these things, and so a, a puzzle this will look like is, is maybe that number link. You can imagine the 24 comes this way, it comes this way, it wraps around things, but however these go, these have to connect to those points. And the key way to actually get into the puzzle then is to uh, work off some of these uh, edge groups, the 3, 2, 6, 3 groups. Just because of how they're pinned at the start, these initial things are easy to put into the grid. And we get to uh, this uh, observation where we have a center that is fairly narrowly controlled. There aren't a lot of ways in and out of it. I'm going to highlight three cells, which are these cells. Note that we have three groups that have to pass to the right, and there is one path, two paths, three paths through from left to right. If uh, one of these was not used, let's imagine this five touched that five. There are now only two ways to get through, so there is a number link kind of logic, which says something like there's a path that's going through um, these cells, and I'm going to use diagonal connections, I actually don't know if it's this this way or that way or both, but there's a path that comes this way, a path that goes through the middle, a path that goes this way. We're going to start to then use that to branch out, so this line is going to have to continue like so, this is going to have to continue like so. We get to where, for instance, this 5 is now moving against this line. I have no idea which, which group this is, 17, 20, or 24, but I'm using the knowledge of where it's at to start to fill in elements of its path. Uh, I can take one more here. It could be either of these, but putting in the three becomes clear to this shape. That makes the middle group the 17. We don't know more than that right now. The one on the bottom is going to have to take this corner cell because it can't be isolated in a hidden phenomenon and it's going to have to come up at least to here. So a total of five. This count gets us up to nine. Right now I have 14 cells in this space. Um, this would be 15. If this came off 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, I can't get to 20, so this is the 24 group. This is the 20 group, if that helps to just mark in right now. What more can we do? Uh, we do have to have an efficient path over to here. Um, trying to see what else we can know quickly. Uh, the 24 is going to have to come through this channel. It can't come this way if it's the bottom path, so it's got to go this this way under the 17. So the 17 is going to go like this. 6 takes at least two more cells to the right, because it can only take this at most. That makes this the star of the 24 path. These two cells have to connect, because this can't be one large. We can now start to do a little bit of counting around this 24 group. This would take at least one, two cells, 
I actually want these two cells, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There are five more here for 21, 22. So this is not part of the 24. Um, it can't take this cell because that would make it a 3, so it's a total of 2 and uh, sits to there. We're going to need to think about this 5, and the tough bit about it is that it, it really looks like you can take almost any cells, but remember we have two groups, this 20 and the 17, that are still going to have to come to the right, and so there's kind of a boundary of two rows that the 5 can't come up to. If the 5 came all the way to the cell, it would pinch things off. So the 5 can and has to take to this cell, and uh, this is the concept of these groups coming around. Again, the 17 is going to do this. The 5 is actually now limited to exactly this P pentomino shape. We'll see from our count before that the 17 now has one more cell to take. It can't take it from here, so it takes it there. It's Philly filled in. The 24 then has to come up one. Comes down like so. The 6 finishes out. 6, 10, count up to 15. This is 20, 21. So this will take one more cell from here. But it has to take this corner cell because of the hidden phenomeno. Uh, couldn't be a 1 next to another 1. It's marking the 20 and also gets its count. Right now we have 5, 10, 15 in the grid, 16. This will be 17, 18, 19. So it has to take this cell. Once it takes this cell, it has to take the other two. And it has to take this as well. It's maximally limited now. 24, we said it'd take one more. The six takes one more. And threes finish out the corner. So an interesting puzzle in different ways. It does use maximal count, which isn't common on too many phenomenos, but because of the maximum count, it set up this number link kind of connection constraint, which had a, a forced center and these bands we couldn't initially assign. Once we did assign them, we, we had to do some counting to get the exact numbers, but uh, hopefully you saw the, the rigorous process to do that, particularly to remember as you move along the edges, this five was somewhat ambiguous. You had to leave space for the groups that are going around, and it's almost like a number a Nurikabe constraint at, at that point where you always have to leave space for an ocean or island that's being pushed to a boundary. Here we had to leave room for uh, two groups along the boundary. Uh, hope you learned a little bit about the puzzle if you were stuck on it, and we'll see you again soon.